Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing okay. Today's video is just going to be playing with some new makeup because I got a few bits kind of over December and January so they're like not super new now but like I've said before my camera died so I wasn't able to film for any of January so this is kind of my new to me makeup some of this is going to be a first impression I haven't opened it I've been very restrained but some of it I have been using over the past few weeks because I often find that's just it's a much more helpful review because you know it always takes a little bit of time to like get your hand around products and stuff like that so I have this very glamorous box that I have been keeping all the bits and bobs in and there's quite a few little goodies in here so we'll have a little bit of a dig and a play and a bit of a chat on this gloriously beautiful sunny day which is making me feel very springy and yeah I hope you will enjoy if you are new to my channel then welcome it is so so good to have you and my name is Heather and I mainly focus on cruelty free beauty stuff and some eBay things some fashion stuff next week's video is actually going to be a bit more of a, like a styling video which I'm really really excited to do I'm also a little bit nervous but I hope it's gonna be yeah I hope it's gonna be good stay tuned for that because it's it's gonna be a fun one okay so before I prime my eyelids I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes to choose from and they're both from e.l.f. so I got one of the their little bite-sized eyeshadow quads and I got this gorgeous gorgeous little palette which is cream and sugar and it's just oh it's just stunning I've been wanting to try these little quads for ages because I just think things like this are just such a good idea for chucking in your makeup bag and particularly if you're at a wedding or you're out for the day or something you can put this in your just your little handbag this could fit in any clutch if your clutch can't even fit this in then I, I don't think it's a clutch anymore I think that's built for like Barbies so I've always thought they were a really really good idea but I, I really wanted this one and it was out of stock for ages so when I saw it was back in I grabbed it but I did want to mention this one which is another one of the elf mad for matte collection and this is in holy smokes all mattes and it's all these kind of neutral shades and then you've got the green and the blue now this actually came free with my order because my order was over a certain amount which was you know quite nice to get a whole eyeshadow palette that's pretty cool also i'm very aware that they changed the packaging ages ago but this is my older mad for matte palette which i bang on about all the time i use this all the time i really appreciate the change in the packaging you can actually see the colors without having to open it up and i don't know why more eyeshadow palettes don't do this i actually reach for my palettes that have the clear front where i can see all the colors so much more often than i reach for my ones that have the you know completely covered cover <laughs> I don't know what the word is like this one so yeah love that elf keep keep that up other brands please do this it's really helpful now I think I am going to use the little ooh, nearly dropped it the little bite size quad today just because I've been excited to try this for a really really long time but I am going to use a couple of the shades in here probably and I think I'm going to use one of the browns for my eyebrows so we'll still we'll still use both but I'm going to primarily focus on this one so as with all new eyeshadows going in with my H&M eye fidelity primer because I know how this works and we can actually test out the eyeshadows okay so first off so I'm going to go into this little lighter shade on the end here with a Sigma E35 brush just pop that all over the lid a colour like this isn't really gonna do much if your skin tone is similar to mine but what it just does is it mattifies the eyelid, sort of sets that primer down a bit and I think just provides a really nice base for the other shadows to blend on top. It also will mean that it just cancels out any discoloration on your lid, anything like that, that just might make the look a little bit less smooth, a little bit less cohesive. So I love shades like this. <laughs> I think there's something that can be so easily overlooked when brands are putting together a palette or something. Sometimes I find shades like this are sort of ignored or they're not actually as good quality as like the bright colors in the palette because I feel like they've put so much effort into the funky shades <laughs> but the funky shades aren't going anywhere without a good base so 
I always appreciate effort being put into the simple things. So next up, I'm going to actually jump all the way across to this darker shade. It's going to be super, super simple, this eye look. Same brush, picking up a little bit of product right on the end, tap off the excess, and we're going to go in just on the outer corner here. Ooh, I feel like I should say this with every eyeshadow shade. Maybe just eyeshadows are so much more pigmented now. Sorry, I keep going into the sunlight and you can't. You can't see! Apologies for the slight jump in perspective. I wanted to zoom you in a little bit more so that you could see what I am talking about a little bit better. Now that shadow went on oh, much more pigmented than I anticipated, which means it's taking a bit of time to really blend it out. We're, we're getting there. Now, I do, I've said it before in one of my videos, but this little patch here, where it does get a bit patchy, happens with every single eyeshadow I've ever tried on this eye. It's one of the reasons I go in with this eye first. This eye always gives me a few more issues than this eye does. So that's a good tip for when you're doing makeup, particularly if you're doing it for a big occasion or you just, you know, you want your makeup to look particularly nice. Make sure you do your less good eye <laughs> first because it will take you more time. And then when you're wanting to sort of crack on with things, you can do your other eye much, much faster. So always, always start with the eye you anticipate having any issues with, and you'll find your application is much smoother, much easier, and much faster. Okay, so I went in with a little bit less product first on this eye this time, because we have lived and learned. That's better. We can build it up a little bit more now to our taste. I will say this is not the best dark matte brown I've ever used from e.l.f. It is a little bit, a little bit on the patchy side, you can see that. Now I'm just going in with a bigger, fluffier brush, which is a Sigma E40. And I'm just going to blend away and see if we can get it to a place I'm a little bit happier with. Apologies if anything has changed, my camera overheated, but all you missed was me doing some more blending. Now, it's it's interesting looking, sorry, up in the viewfinder, that looks really, really patchy. Like, it looks awful in a way, unless I've got my eyes open. But then in person, genuinely, it looks all blended out and fine, which I'm finding really, really interesting. So I'm not sure whether I really like these shadows or not. I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. But honestly, in person, <laughs> it looks better than that. We'll crack on and we'll see what the finished product looks like because often these things take a little while to come together. So what I'm gonna go in with now are these two gorgeous shimmer shades in the middle here. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter champagne sort of all over the lid, and then we'll use this coppery shade to smoke out the edge a bit. Now I'm just gonna go straight in. Whoo, hello. Look at that, there's some pigment in that bad boy. I'm gonna go in with this just on my finger, woohoo! Good morning Baltimore. Comment below if you saw that reel. I was really proud of that reel, I really enjoyed making it. I had that song stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And I will leave my Instagram handle on the screen, so come follow me because we have some fun over there. Wowzers. That is uh, much more pigmented. <laughs> I'm so confused. Do I like this or not? I'm so confused. It's quite frosty as a shade, I would say. It looks a little bit more golden in the palette than it comes off on the eye. It's definitely more silvery. Champagne. It's fine. I'm going to pop a little bit on the inner corners as well. But I just find it is coming off quite silver. But I'm not entirely mad about it. Just, just good good to know if you were expecting this to be quite warm goldy tones it's not quite that it is really really pretty okay next up i'm going to go in with the slightly darker coppery shade but again it's coming off lighter the reflex in it you can sort of see it quite well there when it's not catching the sun it's darker but then the reflex are actually quite bright so let's see how this 
goes on. I'm just going to push it onto the outer third to a half of my eye just to keep that deepness there because I think the more silvery shade did take away from that a little bit more than I wanted it to. Okay, this shade I like a lot. There you go. That's creating quite a beautiful gradient actually, working with the shadows underneath. I think these two shades are the hero ones in the palette for me. This was just gorgeous because, you know, blanked out my eyelid, did everything I wanted it to. This is a beautiful shade. This, quite patchy and quite difficult to work with. And then this one came off more silver. I don't dislike it. It just came off more silver than I wanted for this look. It's very summer wedding summer garden party kind of a vibe. I like it. I think it's very, very pretty. There was a bit of fallout from those shimmery shades, but it's wiped away really, really easily. So that's not an issue for me. I don't mind fallout at all, providing I can get rid of it easily. <laughs> it's when it sticks around and won't go anywhere that drives me mad. Okay, so another little new toy, again from e.l.f. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff is from e.l.f because they had some good stuff in. And it's this flatter liner brush. Now I've seen people using these for a really long time and I never had one. And I was like, that looks really, really useful for lining along the top lid. So I'm gonna give this a go. Now I've never actually done this technique before, so bear with me, but I'm just gonna wiggle it around in that, in that dark brown shade. We're gonna give this, this shade a chance to redeem itself. Just pressing that all along the lash line. Very subtle, but you can just see it a little bit. Oh, that's nice. I like that because I always struggle when doing a look like this. Yeah, you can see this side is just a bit more smoky now than this. So this is a great trick if you want to jump it up tiniest little bit, but in a way that's kind of like, what did you, what have you done? What have you, what have you, what? something's different, do you know what I mean? I love doing stuff like this for weddings where you're there all day and then it goes into the evening because you can daytime look and then for the evening just pop on a bit of a bit of extra shadow, deepen it up a little bit and you're good to go which is again why I thought this little palette would be fab because I can fit these, these two things in any of my bags that I would take to a day out and it will work perfectly. So this, this brown shade is, is starting to redeem itself now. The bonus of using a brush to line rather than liner as well is that it doesn't disturb what you've done underneath. This was always my issue when I didn't have a brush that would work in this capacity was that I would always have to use a liner pen and then they inevitably sort of ruin what you've done underneath. But there you go, that just gives the eyes that little bit more definition and I think looks really, really pretty. Okay, yeah, I wish I had bought one of these liner brushes so much sooner. This is going in my use it all the time little jar. Okay, zoomed you out a little bit because now we're gonna do some more complexions. Now you can see that I have got a couple of tiny little blemishes really, but they're just, they're healing up. So in this kind of scenario, I would want a bit of something on my face. And this has been something I have been just honestly like refreshing the website, waiting for it to come in. And it's actually the whole reason that I ended up purchasing anything from e.l.f. at all. So uh, they did well at me that day, but it is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I've been wanting to try the IT Cosmetics CC Cream for ages, just because I don't always want a fuller coverage something. Normally I just want a very, you know, light blur across the skin, if anything. But occasionally there's actually something I wanna cover and I wanted something a bit more full coverage. So I wanted to go for this because it says color correcting full coverage natural finish, which sounded exactly what I wanted. So I'm excited to try this. Now I got this in the shade light to 10 and I actually thought that this would be a little bit too light for me. It's actually a little bit too dark but I'm keeping it because I go quite tan in the summer so this will be perfect then and so it might be a little bit dark now but I wanted to still show you because it's a really interesting product and I'm still figuring out how I feel about it. So the way I found to apply this that works really really well for me is a brush which actually surprised me because 
I thought this was definitely going to be a put it in your fingers, warm it up, spread it all over kind of a product, which is normally how I like to apply my complexion products, just because I just find using your fingers just works so much better than any brush or anything. But with this one, I have actually found that using a brush is better. So I like to use the Morphe M439. Did anyone used to watch Jacqueline Hill back in the day when this was all she talked about? Definitely influenced and it's great. So I mean, good job Jacqueline. Anyway, so I literally, I'm gonna put the tiniest amount on there because this product is actually genuinely quite full coverage. So I just go in with the tiniest amount, dot it in the places that I'm gonna, I'm gonna want it. And then I start blending them out. Can you see already? Appreciate that I'm in, in natural lighting, which does blur out the skin quite a lot anyway. But if I come in, you can already see that it's already starting to cover this and it's already starting to cover this one in my forehead as well, which is exactly what I want from a product, okay? I want it to just even out my skin tone Blur the pores either side of my nose where they're a little bit more visible and then just help with discoloration that I get underneath my eyes. Now that I've done a tiny bit with a brush, now I'm going to go in with a little bit on my hands. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit, okay? And we're just going to dot this where we need it. So, bit under the eyes, splodge there, splodge there. That's all we want. And now I'm going to just blend that in. And there we go, job is a good one. So now you can still, if I come right up, you can still see an ever so slight discoloration on my forehead where, where that blemish was, but this one is almost gone completely. Now, this is where I like to get it to, okay? I don't want to completely blot out my skin because makeup will always look like makeup on the skin. Anywhere that says, oh, you know, I can't, I can't see it at all. Once they've done like a full face, it's just, it's, it's not true, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But if you only put on a tiny little bit and really blend it and blend it and blend it, you can actually get it to completely disappear into the skin. Raw Beauty Christie has a really, really interesting video where she tried to do her makeup like they do in films so that you literally can't see it on the skin. I'll link it down below. I flippin' loved that video because I was like, yes, this is what to me makeup should be it, it shouldn't be a mask on the skin people's skin is beautiful and if we can just enhance it rather than trying to mask out everything i just i just personally think it looks better i mean obviously it's your face you do what you want if you want to do full coverage mask of foundation you you do it i am not gonna stop you and you'll look fabulous in photos so you know we can't deny that now my skin still has a little bit of a glow to it, which I like. I'm actually not gonna powder this at all, just because I wanna keep that kind of glow to the skin. And I just feel like powdering that is kind of gonna, you know, I mean, obviously, it's gonna change that. And because we don't have so much product on our skin, then we don't really need to set it. But can you see that even though it was a bit dark for my skin, it's blended in fine, so, Will I get the lighter shade? I don't know. Probably not to be honest because I'm cheap. <laughs> okay, so next up is quite a fun one and this is by the brand Peri Pera and it is a matte peach blush and it's so cute because it's okay, you already shine. Because this is a completely matte blush. Now, I got this one when I was actually looking for the slightly more luminescent version because I wanted something to replace my Maybelline blush that I, I love but I just don't really want to continue to support Maybelline if I can help it. So I wanted to try their luminous one and I didn't have it but they did have this matte one and I thought, you know what, it's not expensive, having a matte blush might be quite nice and I, I love this shade. I love this shade. Okay, so now in the lips category is actually where I have the most new products because I don't know I've just been getting more into lipsticks and things recently which is ironic considering we're all wearing masks and nobody can see but it's fun to wear at home so I have a whole a whole bunch here and 
one that I really wanted to try was the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks because I bought a set of these for my sister-in-law for her birthday and she said they were amazing, like lasted the whole day, didn't have to touch up nothing. So I wanted to get one. So I got this gorgeous shade in Strawberry Hill. Now I'm not going to go for this today because it is very full coverage high pigment. I will be using this very very soon but I just think with this eye look and everything it's going to be it's going to be a little bit too much. I also got another new e.l.f. product but I also got one of their sheer slick lipsticks in golden pear which is a beautiful beautiful kind of peachy orangey shade and I love these tones on me particularly if I'm going for a very fresh faced kind of mascara blush and something on the lips with a little bit of eyebrows you know like just the the everyday kind of basics basically but I just think with this eye look this is going to be too peachy combined with a peachy blush I just think it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a disconnect so I'm gonna go for one of these and these are just such a brilliant idea these are a little set of three mini lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury and I love miniature lip products because how often do you actually get through a whole lipstick unless it's the one that you use every single day and it's your go-to then you get through a whole one but particularly for the more kind of you know the reds and all that kind of stuff unless you're somebody that wears a red lip on a daily basis when do you get through them so i find miniature ones just great and they're perfect for trying out different shades so i love this was their little lip vault i think it's called and you get a walk of no shame in here which is this kind of deeper berry red it's gorgeous I really really like it but again a bit much for today so we're not going to go for that one and then you get the pillow talk shade which is her you know iconic one and then very Victoria now I'm going to go for very Victoria for today because this is like my absolute my lips but a bit better <laughs> kind of a shade and I just love it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother lining my lips I'm just gonna go straight in. There you go, see, it just gives the most beautiful little kiss of colour without being anything too mad. And I don't use a lip liner with this one, partially because of the shape of the bullet, it's got kind of a square tip to it, which makes it super, super easy to use, but also just because of the colour. It's so close to my natural lip colour that I don't find I need a lip liner. If I wanted it to be really long lasting, I probably would, but today I'm not, I'm not too bothered. So that is, that is it. So let's just zoom you back out a little bit and we'll debrief. Please forgive the little the little shark that's hanging off our wardrobe just because this was a lovely little present from my uh, husband which is a bit of an in-joke. So he's just gonna stay there because because he's cute. But this is the final look and I, I really really like it. I really love how it turned out. I love how the eyes turned out. I was a little bit there's always, every single time I do an eye lick, there's always a bit of a moment where the, you know, you're not sure if it's going to come together because one of the shades doesn't quite work for you. I did find, overall, I still really like this. I think they're a great idea, but the shimmers really saved it <laughs> on this one. And I always think it's a little bit of a cheat when the shimmers have to save something just because, you know, they light reflect and they make everything look pretty. But yeah, I just found it was a little bit hit and miss with brown, but then it worked beautifully for lining my eyes. So I'll absolutely keep using it, but it's just a little bit more hard work than the blush i just i love this color i think it's beautiful beautiful and then the cc cream this is a hit for me i really really like it i prefer it to my urban decay one and done skin perfector thingy majigger this has got more coverage to it so therefore i think it works better for what i want to do when i want to kind of have a bit of coverage but only in certain spots i feel like this actually does that a bit better so that's always nice and then this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, I just, I adore. I think it's just gorgeous, gorgeous colour, exactly what I wanted. Can't complain. All in all, it came together really, really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a little bit just playing with some makeup, but you know what? I love watching those kinds of videos, so I hope you do too. I hope you are all really, really well. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, please do subscribe, it would be wonderful to have you. And yeah, comment below with the new makeup that you have been enjoying. I'm always looking to try out new things, and if it comes recommended from you guys, then that's even better. So yeah, please do comment below with what you've been enjoying, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, son, that was really helpful, thank you. Yeah, yeah just disappear.
just when I'm filming, yeah. But it is a bit more silver, but it's beautiful. I do have to say that... <laughs> gonna sneeze. Yeah! <clears throat>